Let's see if it's gonna be summer 24, 25, but for sure there is a lot of interest. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel with Fabrizio Romano as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, we touch on Ivan Tony situation, but also Lautaro Martinez, Benjamin Cesco, and Julian Nagelsmann. Let's jump into it together. And guys, one of the important news of the day is about the future of Julian Nagelsmann as the discussion between Nagelsmann and the German Federation is advancing to the final stages. It's not a done deal yet, but the conversation is advancing. So the German Federation uh, is discussing with Nagelsmann in terms of contract. He will take a pay cut compared to what he was earning at Bayern as a uh, former manager, but still under contract with Bayern Munich. And so Bayern are prepared to let him go on a free, so not asking for any fee for their manager. Now is about the final details between Nagelsmann and the German Federation. And then the former Bayern coach will become the new German national team manager for the Euros in nine months in Germany. So a crucial step for the future of Nagelsmann, waiting on these final details, and then uh, it will be here we go. Then, guys, mentioning strikers, it's an important uh, moment for many strikers. We know that, of course, nothing is happening now, but in January and in the summer, many movements that will be around Europe for uh, strikers, and one to watch is going to be Ivan Toni, because his manager, Thomas Frank at Brentford, mentioned, speaking to Sky, that he doesn't see many strikers at his level uh, around. And uh, we know that, according to my information, Brentford also know that the player wants to leave in 2024. We will see if it's going to be January or summer, but Ivan Tony appointed a new agent which is a stellar company with the Barnett family because he wants to try a new experience in a new top club. And many clubs made contact with Tony. I can reveal to you that a couple of months ago, also Italian clubs asked for information for Tony, but Premier League is the priority of the player. Chelsea are well informed on the situation of the player, but also Arsenal are well informed on the conditions of the potential deal. So both clubs asked for information. Let's see if other clubs will join the race. Let's see what's going to happen, for example, around Manchester United. But at the moment, we can guarantee that both Chelsea and Arsenal are informed on the situation of Ivan Toni. Then nothing will happen now, nothing will happen next week. It will take time to see the price tag and all the conditions of the deal. So be patient. Many things can happen on this story. But Ivan Toni is one to watch because the idea of the player is to try a new chapter in 2024. And keep an eye also on another striker in 2024. Benjamin Sheshko scoring his first Champions League goal for Leipzig uh, in this uh, first game day one against young boys. Benjamin Sheshko is a super talent and uh, every single game of Red Bull Leipzig is with important clubs, scouts in attendance for Benjamin Sheshko. So one more time, clubs, especially from uh, Germany, but also from England and especially from England, are in the stands to keep an eye on Benjamin Sheshko. So his progress is being monitored. Let's see what's going to happen not in January for sure, but in the summer. Let's see if it's going to be summer 24, 25. But for sure, there is a lot of interest around Benjamin Sheshko and clubs from Germany, from Italy, but especially from England, are keeping an eye on this striker. So he's doing fantastic and it's going to be one to watch. Lautaro Martinez today spoke in public before the Inter game against Real, against Real Sociedad and he mentioned that many clubs were interested in uh, him during the summer, but it was never a topic because Lautaro always wanted to stay. So, for example, uh, we already said about Chelsea turning down the possibility to sign Dujan Vlaovic. For Chelsea, Lautaro Martinez was never a topic discussed in the summer also because after pay paying big money for Romero Lukaku in the past to Inter, at the moment Chelsea are not willing to go for another similar kind of deal because Lautaro would be super expensive. But also Lautaro Martinez mentioned that he's going to discuss a new contract with Inter very soon. So the discussion over new deal between Lautaro, Inter captain and the club is going to take place soon. So let's see also what happens around Lautaro Martinez. And so a lot of movements around strikers and we will be on it in the next days with many updates. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories. Ivan Toni, Lautaro uh, Martinez, also uh, Julian Nagelsmann, Benjamin Sheshko, I wait for your comments. Here as always, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.